Three factors to consider before taking a trade. This video will help you to be able to know at least what are some of the things that I will be considering every time uh, before I take my trade. So I will ally, I will do these three factors here so that I can just mention them. And then once now you are you have gotten it, you will know you will be able, like it will go back to your mind and you will try to follow the three factors. So the first factor is the main trend. I have seen uh, I have seen majority of traders, they will always trade on the short term trend. The market may be a long term buy, but people are trading retracement. So you don't want to be found trading the short term trend. You want to be found trading the long term trade trend so i want you to before you even you take uh, a trade factor in factor in the long term trend because <laughs> there's a trade we entered i think it was last week or a week two weeks ago and we were consistently struggling to buy that market and then when the market didn't buy and it stayed for one week on drawdown. I went on the monthly time frame, and I found that this market was a long term sell. So that is something that I would have considered, even if daily was giving me a buy. I would have considered not to take a buy because according to long term trend, I will show you what I mean. So consider the main trend of that market. Okay. The next thing is the news, guys. If you don't consider the factor of news. And there are, there are two major news that I want you to always consider. We have CPI. We have CPI on USD, GBP, JPY. You, it's like we have CPI on all the pairs. So CPI is one thing that you need to consider in NFP. So NFP. So these are the major news that you have to consider. And the beginning of the month, the first two, three weeks, every week we have CPI on GBP. And I will even show you on the trade on the forex factory about the news that one i will show you okay and then the next thing that you need to consider is market that is ranging we want to consider not to pay attention on ranging market i have seen sometimes i'm trading a market on four hour but on weekly the market is ranging it doesn't want to move and that is the annoying market to ever even be so you yes for our is breaking resistance yes for this movement but when you zoom out and you go to higher time frame the market is ranging so those are the three things to consider so i want to go step by step i want to at least to highlight each and every each and every one so that we can be able to we can be able to know uh how to go about it so i will give you and then i give you i will give you the main trend and then i show you how people trade without considering the factors so let's say this is gbp this is gbp jpy this is four hour so if you look at this chart if you open your chart and you are trading gbp jpy majority of people they will trade this market as an uptrend so for them that's what they are seeing the market is on an uptrend and even if you look at that um trend line the market has touched this trend line making it uh either it's reversing or whatever you want to say but this market is on an uptrend so whatever many people will do they know it's an uptrend but they don't care to know the main trend imagine if you, you don't care to know the main trend yes it's an uptrend we are not refusing but have you even done your due diligence to know yes gbp jpy is a buy on four hour but is it a buy on other time frames so what you start let's say in this case you want to trade the break and retest strategy so you'll come here and say because i have resistance here <laughs> sometimes we trade and and you know you have to go through this so that you can know how important it is. Some people will never know what I say it is important until they try to trade and they start losing money. That's when they, oh, but then she said something like that. So you have your current resistance like this and my current support. So if this is how you are trading, so you have your current resistance and we have our current support there. So this is our support. So, 
Someone will be trading support a uh, break and retest strategy where they wait the market either to break above or break below. So you are either waiting market to break above or break below. And you have not considered the main chart. Or you can even be trading anything. Like you can be trading, people trade different things. And yeah, so as, as, as you wait, let's see what happens. So as you are waiting, the market have broken this resistance and you're so happy break of resistance um, breaking. So we call it BOR break of resistance has happened and now you are waiting for the market to retest so that you can attempt to get in. So once people see this candle, uh, the market uh, breaking like that and it is retesting, they will they will also put a line there so that either it can retest or if it continue going up, they enter with the move. So it's either it retest or they even go to lower time frame to look for maybe bullish anger or no other things. And I'm just showing you the dangers of not understanding the main trend. So either this person will enter a buy because now they have seen a bullish engulf after breaking and they will enter their buy and they don't know how, how far they will be targeting. They can enter their buy and say, we will target to the next resistance. You can see this is the next resistance. I will be targeting here. People have crazy targets. They have crazy, crazy targets. So or someone has entered and they don't know even where they are targeting. So by the time you are entering that market and you can see now the market came retested, but it retested with a green candle. And now you are so, so uh, sure that the market now it's buying. Buyers now have agreed. And this is your trade. Notice once you have entered, you have only gotten 25 pips. So because you, you are over targeting, I don't know, 100 pips, 50 pips, and you're like that, the next candle, the market sells on you. And this is not 10 pips. This is, the market had given you 79 pips as it was going, and it gives you 410. And the last thing, after you are given 410, the worst thing is that the market continue to sell. That is the worst thing. Even after the market is here, it continue to sell. So the question is, how would we have avoided by considering the fact of main trend? You, you are seeing the market is on an uptrend, but let's go on the daily, guys. If I take you on the daily, you will notice that this market was not uptrend. This market has been going down. This is the main trend. You see what I'm saying? This is the main trend. So what is happening here, the market is coming to retest. So the market is just coming to retest where it broke last. So when you are, when you are just on four hour thinking I will get an up, a buy entry, the market wants to just inactivate. You can see it got rejected because this is how break and retest happen. And after that, the market, let's see where it is right now. So that's where the market is. It's now ranging at that area, okay? So that is something that people don't consider. And I want you to start considering from today, the main trend. Don't be lied when you go on four hour and you just see the market going up. Just look at the daily, look at the weekly, just know at the what is the long trend of the market. The other one I have told you is the news. I remember we were trading, there's a day we were trading gold and we had CPI news. And I want to show you when you don't consider CPI, this is what happens. So let's say this is you, you open, this is you, you open your chart and you don't know that we have CPI. This is what exactly happens when you are ignorant. So you open your trade and uh, you don't want to consider if we have CPI or not. So you have gone on the daily and you have seen the market has broken that ranging. And in your mind, you're thinking because this ranging was, uh, was a long, uh, it took time, the market will come that distance. Sometimes it may work, but when there is news, 
just avoid. That is a key factor to avoid. So someone will see the market has been ranging for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The market has been ranging for so long. And then when it is bro it is broken, many people will come and do a buy order. So majority here will come and do buy order, buy limits. So they will place their buy limit, which is wrong because you have to consider. So that, the, that day we had news on USD, we had CPI. So if you consider the news, you not have put your buy order because you don't know what the news will do. Others would buy, others will go to lower time frame. But what happened, once you bought, that was the candle activated by the news. Even if we go to four hour and see how the market went down, you can see after the news was announced around, uh, around uh, I don't know if it was 12 or something, you can see the whole day the market dropped. The whole day the market kept dropping and it was a result of CPI. So that is another factor that you should understand. So the market went 873 pips, guys. Why would you not consider the factor of CPI and at least avoid the market? And the last one is the ranging. I remember we were trading GBP Audi and we could not understand why this market was just this. It was a stubborn trade. Anytime you enter GB, um Anytime you enter, uh, you you try to trade GBP Audi, it was ranging. And let me show you what I mean. So I attempted to trade GBP Audi uh, some time back uh, in the uh, the beginning of the year. So we were on four hour. And we, we were attempting to trade a GBP Audi, but it was so difficult. So whenever the market would break, let's say here the market has broke, it comes back. So it was so difficult to trade GBP US, GBP Audi on, on, on four hour. You can see how the market is moving until I went on the weekly and I saw what was happening. When I went, when I went on weekly, when I went on weekly, I saw this market ranging like you can imagine you are attempting to trade a market that is ranging like this there's if if you if you do a mistake the market will sell and you'll be left there so this one anyone who was buying let's say you come on four hour and because you're on four hour you say now I will be buying because the market has broken. This is just a retracement. So I will be buying. Anyone who bought the market now decided to sell and break that box, you see? So when you come to weekly, don't, this, don't trade pairs that are ranging. And I can even check for you the current market. Let's check the current market. Like GBPCHF, we will even do monthly and see pairs that has that have been ranging. So these are current market. I just want to give you an example with the current market. So do I have a current market that is ranging? So like Euro and ZD, but this one is not as much as ranging. Do I have, tell me I don't have a ranging market. Let's see, ODCHF, trying to show you anytime you have a ranging market, how it is, it looks like CAD JPY, CHF JPY. So Euro Audi, I think, I think we can, we can say Euro Audi. If you see Euro Audi, this market has been ranging for quite some time and this is monthly so of course if you're trading euro audi they don't know if they want to buy or to sell so sometimes you will find difficult when you're trading these this pairs and the reason why you're finding it difficult is because on the higher time frame they are ranging so the recap is always check the factor the key factor to check is the main trend the news are important and also don't trade on high, on lower time frame market that are ranging from from uh, from a higher time frame. So you are on four hour. You are trying to trade 
but on on monthly the market is ranging that one avoid it okay thank you so much guys for watching i love you so much see you in the next one bye